Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a different kind of post review video to share with you. This is the changes that have happened in Diamond Art Club from, from conception to more recently. So I hope that you will come and join me on this little journey. This first painting was actually my second ever purchase from Diamond Art Club and technically it was the first that I purchased for me. It is a picture that they had on clearance and at the time in their clearance section they were selling images that they did not want to produce anymore uh, for whatever reason. Maybe there was like they weren't happy with the render or whatever. So just a, a little disclaimer there. This is not something that they were selling for, for for full price. And I think I got this. I was looking at my order history in September of 2018. It's called Over the Clouds. So this is a square drill kit. And it has 28 colors. And does it have a size on it? 92 by 61 centimeters. Yeah, and I remember that I got this on sale and I, I really like the picture um, because in the, in the, you know, thumbnail picture, it had a couple of dragons flying through the clouds. And of course, I knew when I purchased it, I'm not mad about this. I knew when I purchased it that the, they weren't happy with something about the kit and that's why it was on sale. And I was just like, you know what? I'm addicted to diamond painting. I don't care. I want it. So this is over the clouds and you might be able to see it. There's an outline of a dragon right here. There are also dragons in the background, I believe up there. And there's another one over here. But... There's a combination of factors in this diamond painting that I know that the company was probably not happy with. First of all, this is a computer charted kit, and this is right before they started, or just as they started hand charting all of their images into diamond paintings. So when you put this into a pixelized, you know, take an image, make it pixelized for diamond painting or cross stitching, this is what you're going to get especially when the color range is so small. So I just wanted to show you up close what this looks like. It is still really pretty. Um, people who see it from a distance are going to see, you know, a little bit more clearly. There's like this, um, what do you call it? Like a sun, sun streak. This sun is setting over here and it's like a really bright pink light coming from that sunset. And you can kind of see those flares. That's what they are, flares. Flares here, here, and here. I really like this picture. If I don't know if I can find this picture. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, and I don't know who the artist is because at the time, like, this was just, I believe, like, copyright free or something like that. And they used the image and then they decided that this is not the direction that they were going to go in. They wanted to go in a different direction. And I fully supported that. But yes, I purchased this picture back in 2018 and it was on clearance, so this isn't what you would get now. But if you look closely, you'll see the squares were in really good condition, but there is a bit of gapping there. Again, you're not going to see it from a good viewing distance, but the picture doesn't really make much sense, unfortunately. It's made from the same material, this same canvas material, the soft tarpaulin, like velvety background, nice buttery canvas. And I fell in love with that the instant that I felt it. But this is Over the Clouds, and I'm going to show you what their more recent pictures look like. I'm going to grab that from underneath. Oh, they're stuck together. This is Pink Roses. Pink Roses by Kelly Eddington. And you can definitely see the difference in the rendering. This picture is 
Does it tell me? It does tell me. I gotta look for it in a different place now. So it's 66 by 51 centimeters. I purchased this in, I'm trying to remember what month it was. I think it was the summer month of 2022. This is 42 colors and it also has ABs, which the original pictures had no specialty diamonds yet. But this also has ABs and the ABs are in the center of the flower and also there's some in the pinks, pinks, whites, and yellows in this kit. I think you can tell like the the canvas material is the same but there's more colors and there's more detail. This is a hand charted kit so they take the image they might pixelize it, but then they are fixing them to make them make sense, to make those colors pop, to give definition and depth to the image as a pixelization, as this is. And so instead of it being kind of flat and have very little to no definition there, this is a huge improvement. In my opinion, uh, and this is all going to be my opinion from here on out, I'm not speaking for anybody else, but I believe that pictures that have a close-up of an image are going to get give you the best looking result than if you go for something that is really far away. So this is a distant shot. Obviously, it's just a, a painting or, you know, digital art, but imagine that this is a picture this is a landscape of something that is not as visually interesting that's very difficult to to get any definition whatsoever in the clouds you're not quite sure what you're looking at and there's this huge wall of this color right here um down in the bottom corner it's just a single color all through here there's just two colors but once you add zoom in Get up close and give it as many colors as you can without driving yourself crazy. <laughs> uh, that will give you so much more definition and joy in the final product of the diamond painting. And I believe that it has taken, you know, some trial and error over the years to get to this place. And I am so proud of this. I love it so much. It's so great to see the, you know, transformation of this company from the origins where they were just learning you know what works what makes a great diamond painting and it might not be what I said but those are my feelings on on it and I know that not everybody uh, feels the same way that I do about it but to see that transformation um, the balance of color the balance of you know the aspect those specialty drills which are so much fun to place and it really makes the sparkle happen. I just think it's incredible uh, to watch this evolution and I can't wait to see what's in store. We already have so many fun new little projects, um, you know, new things that are coming out that make diamond painting fun and keep it, you know, engaging for those of us who have been diamond painting for a long time, like myself, early 2018, and even before that, just to keep it fun and fresh and interesting. And so, yeah, those are two diamond paintings that are finished from Diamond Art Club, and I feel like you can really see this is a, a round drill kit, this is a square drill kit, and usually with the round drill kits, the picture itself, the canvas needs to be larger to get the detail, uh, but for a small kit, I think that this looks absolutely stunning. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts below. If you've noticed anything over the years, if there's anything that you could add to the conversation, uh, maybe you have some interesting perspectives that I haven't thought of, and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful week ahead and I will see you all soon in my next one. Take care everyone. Bye!